this is the small millipede. And like I said, the, um, the projects usually fold one into another. Like, like um, from when Rodin would work, he did the Gates of Hell, you know, this enormous thing with 50 pieces in it. And then from that, he gets uh, the thinker was at the top, and, and that becomes a sculpture on its own. So it's just a natural way to be part of how sculpture develops, or at least this kind of figurative sculpture. Um, and so this was, this was part of a commission that I did, I don't know if I've got other slides from it, um, that I did for uh, Puerto Rico. I did a coqui frog, a big coqui, and then I did other insects that were in this cave, uh, in the Camoy Caves in Puerto Rico, and I, I did this uh, millipede, it was about this long. Um, all male shoes and, and the hat, um, and we actually had, we had a, we bought, I don't know how they do it, but we bought from mail order catalog this giant African millipede. It was like this long, you know, we got it shipped in from England, you know. <laughs> uh, and she was the house pet for a long time. She's, she's passed away now, but sadly. Um, so she was sort of the model. And then from that small model, uh, uh, these days, there are all different ways to do it, but you take computer scans and enlarge in foam up to a full-scale model. So uh, they route it with um, these big routing arms that gives you the basic shape, and uh, we cover that with plaster and then fine finish it, and that kind of that that's how you get from these small-scale models to the big-scale models. It almost always takes a lot of kind of visual tuning. Um, at that stage, at that jump up. Uh, this was the first proposal, photoshopped in from the small model. And these are the sections. Everything is cast in, it's a sand casting, everything's cast in sections and fits together like a puzzle. So you, it's, a, it's really a, uh, I've never made a sculpture this way before, you know. Um, these are legs and clay, and then we make plasters from them. And this is the work being finished in the foundry, the work that's outside.